what's going on guys welcome back to one of my motions videos in today's video we have a new maze island it is called jungle warriors maze um i'll let you guys know the uh coins the amount of coins you need for every single one of these monsters also there's a new 7 seal challenge i'll let you guys know which one to go for and also how to get maze coins in today's video all together so if you guys are excited go ahead and smash the like button also subscribe and turn on post notices as well so First of all, we, we start off with Panda Explorer. If you guys want to go for him, I wouldn't really recommend going for him unless you're probably a starter and you're not going to log into the game too much. Then, yeah, go with either Panda Explorer or Armo. But um, then we have Itsunami. Itsunami is a... It's a... Decent monster. I mean, it's a good monster to uh, for starter players, but it is just that it's outdated. And if you're going to use this to compete against the mythics nowadays not so good um or even the uh legendary metas um but we have this monster which i can't pronounce his name and i'm not gonna try to but we're just gonna call it the nature controller okay so this new nature controller with possession skills apparently uh he is new and um sure why not go ahead and you know get him i mean it's a free mythic all you have to do is just log into the game every four hours get your coins and stuff and uh, make it to the limit time path if you can't make it to the limit time path it's okay uh it's not the you know end of the world because at the end there's going to be um well there's a the last hour right when the, the last hour of the maze literally when it's like one hour left there will be a 20 percent discount in case you didn't know and that actually applies to every single mazes unless they probably change that in the future but as of right now, you can make it to the last discount and 20% uh, discount, you can actually get the monster for about 6,000 something. We're gonna get into it. I'm gonna let you guys know how much you actually need um, and everything like that. But uh, yeah, let's actually head over to Discord and I'll give you guys some information. So first, let's go over the maze cost per discount for, and also this uh, includes the keys, of course. So for Panda Explorer, it's about 3,130 without any discounts. You don't wanna go for the disc, uh, without the discounts, trust me. Going for the discounts itself, it just makes it so much cheaper. And stuff like that it's just way much better um but we have armo for 6120 although wait let's go back to pan explorer because i didn't go over the 10 percent, 20 and 30. 10 percent is 2821 20 percent is 2500 and uh 30 percent is 2191 for armo which is the uh epic monster right the second epic uh enemies 6120 for zero percent 10% is 5,515, 20% is 4,884, and 30% uh, is 4,279. And that is just to get the monster fully, okay? It's not like you're going to stop at the keys and that's how much it costs. That would be a lot. Um, it's an army. It is 9,860 altogether for 0% discount, 8,884 for 10%, 10 and then 20% is 7,870, 30% is 6,894. Uh, for the mythic, the nature controller um it is 8295 without any discount so if you're gonna go without any discounts you have you must have at least 8295 to get it fully you can right now get it fully if you would like to but uh it costs more because you're gonna have to you know get the keys first to be able to unlock the monster of course um so 7,477 for 10%, 20% is 6,614, and 30%, which I recommend everyone going for, uh, it is 5,796. And last time, I actually went for the 20% discount, which costed me like around 6,600, just to get the full 100 uh, Mythic cells on top of the Limit Time Path one that I got. This is for the Mythic, so rank 1 for the Nature Controller, it is 17,290 without any discount, so 0% discount. Uh, 15,575, which is for 10% discount, 20% is 13,810, and 30% it is 12,095. For uh, rank 2, 27,285. 10% it is 24,000, and blah blah blah. Okay, you guys get it, right? So, at rank 5, you must have at least 70,000 coins. 70,376 70, coins to be able to get the monster to rank 5 and it, that is for the 30% discount. But if you just want to go for rank 5 and you don't want to, I don't know, take the advantage of the discount, then it costs about basically almost 100,000 or 99,155. Now getting into collecting mace coins, so I, lo I recommend logging in every 4 hours and I'm pretty sure every player in a game does that. Um, if not, most players actually do it, and it's the best way to farm up coins. So what you want to do is just go with two Thunder Eagle monsters, which they both cost gold, right, to get. Uh, basically right there, 
Um, it costs four. I mean, it costs nothing, but it takes four hours to uh, for the finish. You know, for the breeding to finish, and um, you get fifty coins every time from just taking the breeding, and of course from uh, selling the egg. So you don't even have to hash the egg; you just have to sell it, and you get fifty coins. And you gotta do that every four hours. Um, I recommend using both of the um, breedings, breeding trees. Uh, at the moment, I only have one free, so looks like the other one's kind of busy. But uh, just log in every four hours, like I said, that is one way to get the uh, coins, uh, you know, farm up coins from breeding and of course hatchery. But we have gold, so gold, gold you could just collect all after collecting a few. Um, they don't really give you much, probably like 20 to 30, but um, food, foods actually give you some. So you collect all of them except the last one. Now you collect all except the last one, here's why. Um, then you can go back and I guess spam collect some of these. It's gonna give you some maze coins right there. I got 14. And if I take this last one, it should give me some maze coins just like that. See? 47 maze coins. Just like that. And you're done with collecting and food. Um, then you're gonna get to uh what's it called? What else? Oh yeah, there's gonna be dungeons soon. There's gonna be dungeons where you could actually get yourself uh some maze coins. So at the moment there aren't any dungeons, but keep checking the game uh, every day to actually check to see when it's actually uh when it's available, you can actually Go for it um but aside from that of course pvp only gives you up to 15 and it only happens one time so one attack 15 coins that's all you get every four hours so make sure to lock in every four hours um but for the food farm and gold i recommend logging in every hour uh because it only takes up up to one hour if you're gonna grow rainbow snow peas i'm not sure about the other two i believe they're all uh one hour uh anything below a rainbow snow peas you should log in every one hour because you're gonna collect all except the last one and collect some maze coins from your gold and then you go back and collect the thing from your farm right um and then you will get the maze coins so that's actually a pretty good way to farm up you can log in every four hours or log in every hour for the just for the food farm and the gold of course but for the breeding and hatchery i just re I recommend logging in every four hours that's the best thing to do um but i believe i reviewed everything that is all the uh, all the ways, right, to get yourself uh, maze coins. Yeah, so food. Oh, feeding your monsters. Yes, I forgot about feeding your monsters. Okay, if you're running low on food, just go on and hatch yourself a fire star. Feed it up to level 7, sell it, okay? But in this case, I have a legendary here, master skill. I'm going to go ahead and feed it a couple times. See, it only gave me two coins. That's okay. Go back and pretend like you're doing something or just wait a couple of seconds. Then you're going to go back and feed a couple more times. You get four coins, sometimes it gives you more. So just pretend like you're doing something once again. Uh, you can go back and feed a little. Why is it giving me two coins only? Maybe if I feed a lot and then go back. And then once again, go back again to collect some. There we go. Now it finally gave me 24 coins, which is something at least um, just from fe feeding, right? Uh, but aside from that, getting into 72 hour challenge. 72 hour challenge. Who to go for? Everybody's asking. You should go for Baron Trader. I recommend Baron Trader out of all of them. But here is the catchy part. Try to get Vampira and Baron Trader because there is the Dark Hill Colossal that's going to start uh, very soon. Probably next week or something. I don't know. Near the team race. Whenever a team race comes around, uh, Dark Hill Colossal will come around as well. Uh, probably the day before, I'm guessing. And um, you definitely need Vampira if you don't have it already because you can use Vampira for the breeding dark Hill colossal so i recommend trying to get the uh, vampira and baron trader if you can but if you can't and you're just a starter player baron trader is the one and if you guys want to know the cost for every single one of the monsters let me actually show you guys an image here's an image that is the picture um i actually found it on the monsters in official discord so it is official everything is correct so Go ahead and take a screenshot if you guys want to. But aside from that, that is um, how much you actually need and stuff like that. But going back to the maze, um, you shouldn't be wasting your coins moving these monsters in the beginning. I really recommend saving up for the Lemurtime Path because all you need for the Lemurtime Path, um, I remember earlier I actually showed you guys how much you need, I think. Or was that just... Oh, it wasn't. So normally how much it costs with um, without any discount, I think it's like near 5,000 but it's 
below 5000 so just to be sure just hover up to 5000 without any discounts but there will be a 10 percent discount right when the limit time path comes so right when the limit time path monster comes the first hour right when it's get right when it gets added make sure to waste your coins because uh you're gonna start moving it and you have 10 percent discount with you which uh will reduce the cost of the stuff for 10 percent, which is really good def it's definitely better than zero percent right um, at the moment, I'm actually ranking up these two monsters and crafting Yoroi. Yes, I actually got myself Yoroi, which I'm happy about. Um, and what did it cost me? My gems. <laughs> That's all I can say. But um, I'm glad I actually got Yoroi. And uh, of course, Wormland is ranking up with uh, the other monster, which is nice. But anyways, guys, that is going to be pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. Also, subscribe. Make sure to check that you're subscribed because there's like 72.5% of you guys that haven't uh, subscribed to my channel. Uh, but you guys are watching my video, so please check that you're subscribed. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Uh, leave a feedback in the video. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.